he's panting, that's the result of the shot. Yeah, I just can't believe these tyre marks here. Cody has been hit quite hard by that car. If that hit's been big enough to sever a blood vessel in the abdomen, then that could be life-threatening over the next hour or so. It's all right. Cody? Talk. Come straight through. Jeez, look at that. If I let split open, you can see. Yeah. Yeah. You saw my son got very excited and just bolted down the stairs and across the street. Cody, a young Labrador, has just been run over by a car. He's come to fair knock because he's got a bit of hemorrhage around the, the eyes there. His gums are fairly pink there. I wouldn't say they're a rich pink, but they're, they're pink enough for me right now. Heart rate's obviously very high, mm -hmm. just because of the stress. Um, but lung sounds are okay, and you can see that general respiratory rate isn't, isn't too bad. He is panting, that's a result of the shock. Yeah, I just can't believe these tyre marks here. And that's that's all rubber along there, mm -hmm. and then down here. So, geez, it doesn't look as though the wheel's gone over him, but it's certainly given him a pretty big, um, pretty big bump. His oxygenation's at 94%, 95%. It's a little bit low, it should be above 96. Low oxygen levels can be a sign of internal bleeding. If it isn't stopped immediately, it can quickly kill. Cody has been hit quite hard by that car. If that hit's been big enough to sever a blood vessel in the abdomen, then that could be life-threatening over the next hour or so. It's all right. Basically, my concerns are the fact that our oxygenation level is low, his breathing certainly isn't isn't great. He's panting a little bit, so we just need to stabilise that with some oxygen and just try and calm him down with some medication as well. Brendan started crying. Oh, oh that's sweet. That's my son. He had a meltdown. Right. Natan's no, nine-year-old son, nine. Brendan, was there when Cody was hit and he's Hi, rung Brendan. up for a progress report okay. on his canine to... friend. Cody? Who's that? Brendan? Talk. If you're right, I have a treat for you at home. No, he'll be okay, Brendan. Okay, okay. so don't worry about him. He's in good hands. Hi, Cody. All right, Lara, you're on speakerphone and Cody can hear you. Little sister Lara is next on the phone to check on the patient. Yes, I think she panting. seems more worried about the vet's condition than Cody's. That's right. Is he fat or not? No, he's not fat. <laughs> <laughs> That's my daughter. She's got all these very pertinent questions. What, what, what if I was fat? Um, I don't know. She'd probably say you got the biggest loser, like daddy. <laughs> Bye, if anything changes, I'll call. I promise you I'm looking after him. I'm very worried. Oh, my son is, uh, uh, I'll put it, a little emotional. It's quite a nice, healthy reminder about the fact that, you know, you're not just treating the patient here, you're also managing the emotions of everyone that's waiting at home and, and you know, expecting good news here, so hopefully we can actually give it. The tail just keeps on wagging there, doesn't it? It was a happy, happy Typical boy. Labrador. <laughs> You've been hit by a car, okay? Try and act like it. Cody is one lucky dog. The oxygen level's coming up really nicely. It's great news for Natan. Cody's oxygen levels are climbing and the threat of internal bleeding is now over. Cody has been hit by a car. The whole right side of his body is covered in tyre rubber. Yet his tail's wagging and I'm okay for him to go home. You're a very good boy. Mm. It just adds a little bit of weight to this theory I've got about Labradors. Nothing worries them. They're great dogs for that reason, but they wouldn't be winning any IQ test competitions. <laughs> 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 Clearly, Cody's starting to feel better <laughs> and more relaxed. You gotta love your job sometimes. Yeah. It's not mine. No, that's all right, it's part of the job. A few stitches for that cut eye, and the lucky patient can go home. What an amazing recovery. Cody came in looking extremely stressed, and he leaves with a smile on his face, all after being hit by a car. If all hit by car cases could go like that, then my job would be all smiles. Mom, Cody, we're home! Back at Bondi, Cody, the lucky Labrador that survived being hit by a car, is in remarkably good shape. 
It was a really close call and we're just so lucky that it's all worked out for the best. He nearly got very seriously injured and we're just lucky that it's all better now and we've certainly learnt that, you know, we'll keep him closely guarded to us next time. And remember Brendan and Lara who chatted to their injured friend over the phone? Well, they all know the new rules for Koga. I think we should always keep him on a tight leash unless there's no cars around or a, it's a park. Hi, I'm Dr Kate and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen for more great content. And for free, exclusive, never seen before Bondi Vet stories, you can sign up to bondipet.com and you can do so via the link in the description.